Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can add the uh, ACL to our Laravel project. ACL is for axis control less or axis control level, whatever you can, you you are comfortable. This is like that. If you have ever used WordPress, uh, as you know, you have multiple type of user. You have admin, you have user, you have an author. Let's say you have uh, an admin who can do anything in your application and a user can only come and post a comment they might uh, just like a post or doing something simple but let's say an author is coming here an author can post something he can carry the category he can maybe edit a post doing something like that but he cannot manage user he cannot do uh, change any sitting and sitting or manage user should be done only by admin only that is ACL and Laravel so we will learn how we can add this one to the all user here is a project that i have already made it if you don't know how to add admin lt to or laravel project we have multiple videos in the channel you can watch them so if you are following previous videos you know that this is already we have built this project so uh, you can see that this is a uh, very simple uh, laravel 5.5 this is working in laravel 5.3 0.2.1 and level 5.6 which is the latest version it all it work in the all version so i'm not going to go in a complex way some people go and create multiple tables relationships all of this there is an easier way to do this one here is how you do that if you come to your database here is my database we have a very simple category migration and we have our user table in your user table just add one more field user type user type you have admin you have user you have author whatever maybe you have a student if you are uh, building an application for any college or university maybe something like that i have so admin user and author it should be there so these are the value here it is very simple uh, you can just add this acl i have not seen any many people using this method but it is working just fine and and it is good for uh, a small and big project that you are managing it by yourself so here is what you we add a user type here as you can see if i go to my database migration to the user okay i think this one is user we have a user type it has 50 character the default is user anyone who register the type should be user so if a user is login uh, for now i'm admin here is an admin login there if a user is login so let's say this is an author here is an author the menu is less as you can see if i refresh the page he see only post and category but if i log in as an admin he is an admin an admin can see the manage user sitting uh, and more more options so this is what we are going to build so so far you should just add this one the field user type put any value admin user author student whatever you want we have three type of user then you can come okay i will close all the file and open them one by one for you so database and resources here is what you are going to do going to the app you have provider you have auth service provider in your auth service provider first you add the get as you can see we have illuminate contract auth access get we get the uh, the get and we just assign that to uh, another name as get contract you should do that one then uh, down there you might have only this these lines of codes but i have added three more lines as you can see i have defined four mm, three more uh, policy these are called policies we have registered there is admin this is just a name you can put what uh, whatever you know you like like I, I have written is admin this is just a keyword i say we have a policy called is admin this is going to return a function then the function says if the user type in database is equal to admin this will return a true Anywhere we can use is admin means this user is admin. Anywhere in our uh, application we can we use the is author. It means this user is an author. Is user. This is just a name. I said you can put is student. It will work just fine. It should be like is student because uh, my user type in the database is user. I just use is user something like that so we have user type as user now they are just referring to the user type in database whatever you you like you can put here like that so now we have a policy coil 
is admin is author is user now we can use them in our project so here is how you can use this one mostly you you, you use them in two places either you use them on view or in controller so let's say uh, i am now here as as an author i'm author here but i want i don't want author to show the category and edit the category release something like that they should not be able to do these things so how i can remove this menu if i come to the menu which is in the view view here is our master.blade.php i come down here is our uh, yes the category as you can see here is the category so here is our menu i can just hide it like this one as i have written there can i can use the keyword of can which is already a function here in this is already defined in laravel so i can say is admin it means something that is start here can start it here and then i can end it and can it means only user can see this one uh, only admin can see this one is admin if i save this time i come to my project here refresh it yeah this is gone it is not showing now but still we can see the categories here right because we are in the category page now if i want you user not to be able to access the category i can uh, limit the, that from the from the controller here is how you do that. of course i'm in the category now he can see even if i go back uh, let's say i go to the home they say oh, we, we cannot we don't see the category but it's still if they come here and say oops i'm not too good uh, with firefox so i will just go to category i can see the categories although, although we don't have the menu so we can limit this from the controller here is how you do that just open your controller i just go to category controller any function you want if you want to add if you don't want to uh, have access to the all 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 of those uh, functions like index like store like show which you definitely do you can add this in your constructor but for now you just say get allow is admin this is not uh, as you can see this is allow but not means if they if it does not if it is not an admin then send them to a 404 page i said abort 404 if this is this is not an, 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 an admin just send them to a 404 page this time if i save this and come here i'm not an admin if i refresh it yes it sent us to a 404 page because we don't have access to that I come to the home yes here if i come to here and say is author only author can access this page because in my app service provider i have an author here this time only an author can access this page if i come okay this time i can go to category yes i can i am author i can access this one but this time uh, an admin cannot if i come no no admin cannot access this one because i said only an author can do this one again you can pass the second parameter or just write the php style or just put the the admin uh, the, the admin to here if you put the admin then the admin will also work just fine the same way as we put author here so now i will just change it to is admin only admin can access this one refresh yes now admin can but here a simple user or an author cannot create or edit or update the category here is how you do that for the other like uh, the other menus also you can hide them only mostly you use them in two places as i said either you so do something on the view or the controller you limit them just use the can keyword or function and php or in, in laravel sorry here is the can we have cannot to uh, to but we don't use that one we have can here is admin and then end can only admin can see this one that's it this is that much simple i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask on the comment i will be answering you if you have any idea or if you have any question to ask and make video about feel free to ask me i will make video in the future so here is how you can make an easy access 
level uh, control or axis control list thank you for watching